The body language, proud. The gaze, unwavering, challenging the audience. They were not always this way. These are not professional actresses. They are inmates at the Babda Women's Prison just outside Beirut. The dialogue is woven from their own stories. With powerful raw monologues. شوي شوي. بطلت هالبنت مثل قبل. تياب الحلبين اللي كانت أمها تجيب لها ياهن بطلت تلبسهم. لأنه لما كانت تلبس حلو كان يزورها القريب أكثر. It's a culmination of 10 months of drama therapy, led by Zaina Dakash, a theater director. Many of them during the sessions, like, I found out that there were people that never spoke, like really never. Not even to each other. Silenced by the social stigmas from their past, broken and battered. And you discover that the story is, is, is universal. From impoverished homes, many married when they were barely teens, many victims of physical and sexual abuse. The performance we just witnessed, the women's talent, was truly impressive. And during the question and answer session that took place afterwards, their inner strength, dignity, and eloquence became even more apparent. But so too was their frustration. They have learned through therapy to take responsibility for their actions. But they aren't afraid to blame social injustice and the judicial system's fundamental inability to protect them, sometimes driving them to crime, from drugs to murder. What they really did is a trial of the ailments of society in terms of inequalities uh, addressed uh, to women. البنت المنيحة ما بتحكي مع شباب ما بتعرفهم بس إذا تجوزت واحد ما بتعرفه مش مشكل It is calling upon us to think about the under, underpinning reason for the crimes No law protects women in Lebanon although one is being debated in parliament and this country fundamentally remains a male-dominated society a society where women are expected to have a certain role. <laughs> Fatma Yunus performs the story of a 12-year-old girl married off to a man at 21 years her senior. <laughs> Fatma was accused of killing her husband. Recently released, she doesn't want to go into the details of her past. 14 years ago, I was unjustly treated. And I had a tragic incident, she says. I was wrongly accused and jailed. But it was behind bars that Fatma and the other women found the freedom and the ability to speak out. Drama therapy takes the fear away from you, the horror and the shame, she explains. Most importantly, the shame. In general, women are ashamed to say, my husband or someone raped me, that someone sexually harassed me, Despite the gulf in social class between the audience and the inmates, the stories resonate. It made me feel this uh, revolution inside me against all the norms. And we are uh, prisoners for uh, cultural uh, norms or some uh, uh, relig religious norms. Within the prison, women are daring to challenge those norms drawing on their own painful past in hopes of saving other women's futures. Arwa Damon for Inside the Middle East in Beirut.